Um, I'm here today to announce that I've uh, accepted the decision from the board that I will not be a senior coach of the Port Adelaide Football Club next year. Um, in light of this, you know, I had the choice to coach for the next four games, but I don't think I'd have the uh, the passion or the um, the substance to coach the playing group. Um, uh, so therefore, I'll uh, finish up now. Um, you know, the club's given me a huge amount for my life as a uh, player and gave me the privilege to captain the club and then lucky enough to uh, get the privilege to coach this great football club. And uh, for that, I'll always be in debt to them. Um, you know, I'll maintain that this club is on an exciting journey. Um, it's full of promise. Um, there's a, uh, a group of players here that um, are willing to be good players and want to be good players and uh, want to be a lot better than what they are now. And um, Although I won't be here to be able to enjoy that journey and grow with them in that journey till they are a very good team, um, there is going to be some enormous challenges and some ups and downs for them, but um, if they really stick fat to what they're going to do, um, I think there's some real exciting stuff coming up in the future for them. Um, you know, I'd say to all our supporters out there who are pretty frustrated where we are right at the moment, um, it is a part of the journey that the footy club's on and these players um, are on. And I urge them uh, you know, to stick with the footy club um, in the good times and bad times, and there are going to be some bad times, but also going to be some good times. And, when those good times become more prevalent um, week to week with us, uh, we'll actually enjoy and remember the, uh, the ups and downs that they went through. Uh, there's a few people I'd like to thank. Um, you know, I suppose uh, the ex-CEO Mark Hazeman initially gave me the job as senior coach along with Peter Rode. Um, you know, it was a, uh, a dream come to to coach his football club. Um, and for that, as I said before, I'll always be in debt. Um, so the journey hasn't gone according to plan. You know, I wanted to coach this club for another 10 years if I could. Um, it might be a bit optimistic, but uh, you know, I want to be here for a long time and, uh, and see this club and help coach this club to a, a sustained and uh, very good football club, um, not only this year, but the year after that and so forth and so forth, but unfortunately that won't happen. Um, the members um, and sponsors of this footy club have uh, stuck with us in all the good times and bad times and now we're going to really need you um, not only over the next month of footy, but in the next coming years, and I'm sure you'll uh, stick very close to us. To all the support staff for the footy club, you know they're the lifeblood of, uh, of why we love coming up day to day, apart from uh, the winning and losing of footy. Um, thank them for all their support. Um, as I said, my decision today, uh, obviously, um, uh, <coughs> pretty upset about it. Um, you know, I think we're on the on the right course. I think we're showing some improvement, um, and uh, you know, the playing group we're developing you know, it might have been slower than people anticipated, but you know, we were on the right track, um, and uh, hopefully, you know, the core group of uh, people here in this footy club will stay. There's a lot of great people here working towards the uh, the common goal to make this footy club better. Um, I'd love to thank my family who have supported me, my wife Melissa and my three daughters who have been great, uh, sacrificed a fair bit to allow me to cherish this passion of mine of coaching. Um, to my parents, um, two brothers who have certainly given me a huge amount of support. Um, to everyone that I work with at the footy club, all the assistant coaches, recruiting, fitness, um, to all the players. It's, a, um, it's been a great part of my life since 1997 as a player and uh, um, unfortunately time goes on. I love the game of football. Um, I love the industry of AFL and I can't wait to uh, continue my journey working there in the coming years. That's it. Matthew, how were you were told <coughs> to explain to you? Um, I just did, uh, um, uh, Keith Thomas told me yesterday um, that my third year wasn't going to be renewed. Um, so you have the option of coaching out the next four games or uh, doing what we're doing today. As to how they came to that decision? Uh, just the uh, the development of the team wasn't coming along as I expected. Do you think it was more of a major for what happened on Saturday? Um, oh, look, I think that had something to do with it. That looked that game. Um, I think, as I said after, it was understandable. You know, the way we played and um, our brand of footy in that game wasn't acceptable at any level, um, and we acknowledge that. Um, so that plays a, a part in it. The yeah, firmly believe the yeah. list is going forward. You, you obviously have great faith in your in your list, and they could be successful in a couple of years. Is that right? Yeah. Look, it's it's not blind faith. I, you know, we've got a um, a lot of work and do the management of the group over the next 18 months to make sure we, we look after the whole group. Um, um, but you know that they've. 
the gains that they would have by their experiences this year will hold them in good stead. They'll have another big pre-season and uh, they'll have another year together of playing footy. And you know, if we can manage all that well and get the right people out in the park, um, you know, there's things that got to go wrong and there's areas we've got to improve. No doubt about that. But um, you know, I think there is upside. Did you, 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 you pay a price also that? for so many? Like Keith said earlier, you haven't got your first round draft picks on the field. That's hindered development. Have you paid a price for that? A large degree, you haven't got your best players available. Um, oh look, you know, we've worked it through. There's a couple that haven't been available and then we've had ones that have been available. You know, I've tried to promote them as much as I can when I'm playing here because, you know, so when I was coaching here, you know, if we're going to be any good, we've got to look at our list and develop our young players as quickly as we can. And uh, some haven't been able to through an injury um, and others have certainly been given lots of opportunity and we've seen them blossom this year. Matthew, were you given the best chance to do this job? Um, oh look, I've given myself the best chance but to, you to be. The best chance? Um, look, I, as, as a club, we, we are rebuilding our football club and rebuilding our list, um, and that's you know what's still going to happen at the end of this year, um, and that takes a lot of time. Any club that's done it, um, it takes them some time to do it. Um, uh, I think it's acknowledged it's not the greatest time to be down where we are at the moment, but it is what it is, and. Uh, um, you know, I think we've got to add a lot of things to our, our football club. You know, we've got to bring in some good players, but we've got to develop our own. That's how we're going to get better. Matty, but it's a sense of, can I say, loyalty because you believe in this place. Is that loyalty being repaid to you? Um, yeah, look, the, 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 how we played on the weekend, you know, I don't know where that came from, that game. You know, it was a good build up, and um, you know, we, uh, we really haven't played that poorly. You know, for a full game for the whole year, so I'm not quite sure where that come from. But the players have uh, they've acknowledged that and they've got a lot of work to do in that regard of continually coming up to play good footy week in week out. But they want to. They're there as um, they're as disappointed as anyone where we're at. But do they carry the responsibility? There's now two coaches that they've done that to. Ah, look, everyone's everyone's involved in it to some degree. Um, but you know, the players are here to to play football on the weekends and become pretty good players Monday to Friday and. Uh, you know, our playing group is striving towards that. They've got work to do to do that. Um, the quicker they get there, the better it's going to be. But it's it's a long process and it takes time. I um, know it's raw, but would, would there be anything that you <coughs> wanted done differently or needed to be more successful here? Um, oh, look, I haven't thought about that right now. You know, I'm focusing on what I've got to do in the next part of my life now and, and move on pretty quickly. And um, but thank the footy club for the opportunity. What will you, you do now? Since you don't know, he used to work in 24-7, so I would uh, take a deep breath and um, as I say, I love the industry, I love football, um, I want to get involved with it, I want to be involved with it, so we'll, we'll see what plays out, you know, we'll yeah, take a bit Jack. of time off and see what happens. Matt's had yeah, turned down with Brawley, obviously, he's come and said g'day, uh, are they taking you through what the next roles could be and, and how to take your career forward, is that part of what they do? Uh, it's more just being here today. I think the, the coaches' associations turned into a, a powerful group and it's getting better and better and the support that they give coaches, not just senior ones, but all assistants, everyone in the industry is pretty good, so he's just here for um, that support Mate, uh, what for you, today. what did you say to the players and do you feel like they've let you down? No, I don't feel like they've let me down. No, they, um, look, I just spoke to them. Um, I didn't say too much. I couldn't hold the emotion in to an extent, but um, you know, the... Uh, understand how ruthless this industry is um, and how it's a high performance industry and you've got to perform at a certain level week in week out and you just can't take your foot off the accelerator and the foot off the throat and can't have what ifs and all those sorts of things and uh, you know leaving with that in the next four weeks are really important for the footy club um, and they have an opportunity to do something about that for the next four weeks to to maintain um, some st stability, you know, it'll be, it'll feel like there's no st stability here, but um, they've got a, a part to play in that over the next four weeks. Do you expect to be Matthew away now? What's their reaction to be Matthew? Are they, are they angry or are they shell-shocked? Um, yeah, I've only spoken to a, a couple of the senior guys, so, um, you know, I'll catch up with them at some stage, but yeah, look, they'll be a bit shocked, but we're to turn their attention, you know, Saturday morning, uh, Sunday morning, we'll getting ready for a game plan of how to try and beat Hawthorne and the coaches and our assistant coaches will be going through that with them and preparing for that and they've just got to focus on that. Just the last couple of questions. What's the reaction been by the, your assistant coaches? Um, oh, look, they've been terrific support and um, obviously very disappointed. You know, we, a, new, a new crew together, um, wanted to develop together, but you know, they've got an important four weeks now. Do you expect Travis Boat to now back away? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, um, 
Travis has certainly indicated he wants to stay here. You know, that was uh, the last discussion I was going to have with him, but it was before the weekend, so well, that'll have to play out as it does. Matthew, you, you said you feel a debt to the club. Does the way it sort of finished and leave any kind of sour taste for your time, time with Paul? Oh, I'm disappointed to leave in the circumstances, no doubt about that. You know, but um, you know, I'll get over that. And as I say, the, they gave me an opportunity and just a part of the person who's come through this club over a hundred odd so years. And you know, in the next hundred odd years, there'll be lots of other people go through this place. So I'm fortunate enough to have a crack at it and um, move on to the next phase. Yeah, yeah, regrets, any regrets? Have you been done better, Matthew? Um, oh, look, I think you'll always question yourself if you don't reach the ultimate. What could you have done better? Um, no, but the way in which the whole weekend's unfolded, was there a better way to do it? Um, oh, look, I'm not sure there's ever a good way for a coach to move on. Matthew, those press conferences after the games, are they a complete waste of time to you? No, no, they're, they're an important way to talk to our supporters, to get our message out there, um, um, you know, to tell them what we thought happened during the game. Um, and then to, to look forward to the week after that. Was there ever a question you wish that someone had asked you but didn't? No. No, I'm probably glad they didn't ask me. Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you, that's your last one, I think, folks. Did you, 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 did